Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Dr Manur Bangash welcome to my youtube channel hope you guys are doing well previous video of osmosis was about this part of the definition whereas the today's video is about this last part of the definition of osmosis So let's get started. Here we have two solutions separated by a membrane. This is solution 1 with high solute concentration as you can see. And this is sol solution 2 with low solute concentration. So this solution 1 is hypertonic compared to solution 2 because it has high solute concentration whereas this solution 2 is hypotonic compared to solution 1 because it has low solute concentration. Isotonic solutions Iso means same so two solutions having same solute concentrations will be isotonic solutions compared to each other for example on this on both side of this membrane we have equal concentration or same concentration of solute particles so these this solution one and this solution 2 are isotonic solutions compared to, when compared to each other. Osmotic potential is defined as the potential of water molecules to move from hypotonic solution to hypertonic solution across a semi-permeable membrane. In osmotic potential, pure water is taken as a reference. So, the osmotic potential of pure water is zero, whereas any solution, whether it's salt solution or sugar, sugar solution, all type of solutions will have osmotic potential less than zero or negative. And osmosis of water will occur from zero osmotic potential which is high osmotic potential towards the less or less than zero or negative osmotic potential which is low osmotic potential in case of isotonic solutions when two different solutions have same concentration of solute and the osmotic potential will be then zero and there will be no net movement of water although there will be equal movement of water on both sides but no net movement so there will be no osmosis in case of isotonic solutions. The solution on this side of the membrane is hypertonic compared to this side and this is hypotonic compared to this side of the membrane so hypertonic solutions have low osmotic potential and hypotonic solutions have high osmotic potential because hypotonic have high osmotic potential because maybe we have more solvent we have more water here <clears throat> Whereas on the hypertonic side, we have low osmotic potential because there are uh, more solute particles. We have less water here. And as a result, osmosis will occur from solution with high osmotic potential towards solution with low osmotic potential and this is called osmosis 
so this was all about this topic please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe my channel thank you dafiz and take care